This is some major news. I gotta tell Brian. I hope he didn't get hurt. He's probably fine, but how can I really know for sure? You gotta admit, it's much more reliable than handcuffs. I'll take two. They're empty, but they may be useful for something. Who knows? Yeah, I guess it should pierce through the plastic without a hitch. Ready. Not that I listened much in school, but a while back, Brian told me about this dumb thing I keep remembering ever since. It was some sort of contraption you made by connecting two yogurt containers with a wire. Something like this, though I haven't attached one of the juice containers yet because I don't know how long I need the string to be. That's it? You're really inspired today, girl. I finally got my memory back. Thanks to you, Gina. Good, because I have something to tell you. Listen up. This is important. I followed Wasabi because Tarantula was telling him something about the Tarantonite. And... The sale will take place here tonight. The Italians are sending their man. Name is Furio, with the 10 million bucks at 3 in the morning. So that's what this is all about? All the deaths? Just for money? For a lot of money. And let's not forget the pleasure of killing. Pay attention, Wasabi. We gotta be ready for another visit. What visit's that? Vasco's coming here tonight. The dead bloke? He's alive. Whoa. He's incredibly tenacious. Mm. Half that still is stand guard. A mafia hotshot named Furio. Thanks, Gina. You just gave me a brilliant idea. Thanks, Gina. You may not understand how, but you just gave me an amazing plan. I don't, huh? So why do you think I told you about it? Uh, okay. Calm down. I'll take it from here. Tarantula is waiting for an Italian Mafia kingpin to bring ten million dollars at three in the morning. If I hand over that same amount before the Mafia kingpin gets here, while I'm- But it can't be me who goes in. They're obviously expecting me. So here's the plan. One, find a volunteer to pretend he's the Mafia kingpin. Two, disguise him well enough so they fall for it. Three, get $10 million. Four, give my volunteer some sort of trap to take out Tarantula when he enters the penthouse. And all of that before three in the morning? Thank you very much. Doesn't seem too difficult. The only thing in here are... Stacks of leaflets. Not much of a loot. The pink iguana? Where have I heard of that place before? Nothing of interest in the card on the left. But on the right, there's a suit. Pants, jacket, shirt, tie. But it's really wrinkled. It's clean, but it looks like someone took a siesta on top of it. Hey, it's not a rag. It's a scarf with strange markings. Call the police. Yeah, sure. Just what I need to do right now. Gina! 
Everything okay? Yes, Brian. I saw an iron up there before, didn't I? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to tie a suit, shirt, and tie to the wire. You just pull it up, then lower it back down to me, all nice and ironed. Can you do that, honey? Hello? Gina? You there? Hey! No reason to be so rude. Hey, I didn't do such a bad job. And the best part is now I have most of the disguise ready, except for a few little details. I've got it. The scarf is so thin that I can slip it under the door. And if I tie one end to the bar that opens the door, I can just tug on the other end from the outside and presto, it's open sesame time. Perfect. I'm sure that'll work. Rubble. Could perfection be any more beautiful than in a striking piece of rubble? Perhaps in a white twisty tie or, well, Gina. I've decided to take this one because the placement of the two bits of metal creates such a sublime equilibrium that the majesty of the chunk at the base is emphasized to utter perfection. Though in all truthfulness, the rest of it fully merits its description using the poetic term rubble as well. I shouldn't, but it is a restaurant and I am kind of hungry. Hold your horse feathers. Somebody's knocking at the door. But... No one. People are so rude these days. My deepest thanks for allowing me to enter your humble abode. Encyclopedias, life insurance. Do you believe in life everlasting? Is your furniture from Ikea? By the way, allow me to introduce myself. Jonah Johnson, unemployed actor and acting waiter. With whom do I have the pleasure? Brian. Brian Basco. My mistake. No pleasure at all. How can I help you, my friend? Are you sure you're a good actor? Prove it. I don't like that idea. There are probably better ways to waste my time. Come on. Just try. I don't think that will come in handy. Hey, that might just work. Hey, you're imitating me. Great idea. <laughs> Great work. Presto. I'll try again. Hey, no need to continue. I'm convinced. You can stop imitating me now. No reason to do that for the time being. Okay, stop pretending to be me. I wonder how that could be useful to me. Because I just learned how to slam a good punch and my hands are feeling a bit itchy. So you've convinced me. Nothing like a sock and a kisser to promote dialogue. I'm gonna go keep begging and stuff. Jonah Johnson, at your service. My friends call me JJ. You can simply call me nothing. <laughs>